Hello? Hello? Yes. Yes. I do, man. I'm fine. Is that Sheikh? Uh... Sheikh Abdul Wadud. Welcome, Sheikh Abdul Wadud. How are you doing, my friend? I'm good. How are you, man? I'm all right. Everything good? I'm very good. So I've been told by uh, one of your students you want to call me and explain to me something about the Quran, if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, you want to explain it. All right, that's wonderful. So uh, what about the Prophet Muhammad? He uh, recited that the three daughters of Allah, it is a must to ask them to, for intercession, and he bowed down to them. What do you say about that? He never bowed down to them. What he did was mm -hmm. that uh, at the time of, uh, you know, before the Prophet of uh, Muhammad, is the opponent hmm. the people what they are doing they are worshiping that in hmm. so my messenger Muhammad hmm. is the opponent was sent to tell them to not worship not in okay and to worship only one Allah hmm. but this is not what Islamic source says my friend the Quran says in chapter 22 verse number 52 that shaitan he throw in the mouth of Muhammad satanic verses and then uh, all the reference says that Muhammad the prophet of Islam when he was reciting the chapter of An-Najm he said that those are Manat and Allah al uzza the three daughters of Allah their intercession is a must and he bowed down and all the pagan bowed down behind him and even the pagan they said we never saw a prophet uh, 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 like uh, uh, praising our uh, gods as this before so your prophet he bowed down and the pagan they bowed down to the three daughters of Allah and your prophet he mentioned their names do you hear me shake as I, as I told you that at that time if you know the history of Arab mm. those people they were worshipping at that time mm -hmm. So Allah was telling them to not worship. Hmm. Yeah, I know that. But why why Muhammad he bowed down with them? You see, I have a story written by you, Muslims, not by me. You see? Okay, bring the bring the history in front of me so I can see it. Okay, do you see the screen? Do you see my screen? Just wait a minute, my student is working on it. Okay. Okay, this is Hassan bin Nuzul al-Wahidi. Do you speak Arabic, Sheikh? Yeah, I do. Yeah, let's see what. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Let me highlight for you so you can see. It says okay. here, you know. Uh, so when the messenger he was reciting, he revealed to Muhammad. Uh, to him, Surah An Najm by the star, when it saith, Surah uh, chapter 53, the Messenger of Allah bless him and give him peace, recited, recited it. But when he reached, uh, uh, have ye uh, thought upon the Allah and Al Uzza and Manat, the third, the other, uh, chapter 53, verse number 19 to 20, the devil put in his tongue that he had secretly wished and hoped for and said these are the mighty grands the Garanik and their intercession is to be hoped and then when Quraysh heard him saying that when Quraysh they heard this they they were very pleased and the messenger of Allah bless him and give him peace uh, uh, carried on reciting until the end of the surah and then he prostrated and the Muslims followed uh, and they prostrate and all the idolaters they're prostrated uh, there too and those all the were present whether they are uh, believers or disbelievers all of them they bow down together except the man his name is a Walid because he was an old man so your source my friend saying clearly that you're a prophet he worshiped the three daughters of Allah he grant them prayer and he was teaching, claiming that Allah taught him to say that the three daughters of Allah, they are to worship and ask for intercession. 
What do you say? If you look at the uh, the translation, right? The translation is telling you mm. the messenger of Allah, Allah bless him, mm. gave peace and care on reciting the end of the surah. So that means that he was reciting Quran and he went to sajda to Allah. He didn't do sajda to the Latin Uzzah. Yeah, but he mentioned already, already he mentioned that Allah and Al-Uzza, he acknowledged them as their intercession is a must and then he bowed down after at the end, no problem. That, the, that yes. was the problem. Now, that was the problem at that time that the Mushrikin in Makkah, mm. they were worshipping, they were worshipping Latin Uzza. Mm. And your prophet, he worshipped them as you see, he, he mentioned their name. He was, he was reciting the mm. verses of Quran. Okay, what he said, what he said, he said that the three daughters of Allah, their intercession is a must. Right, so you're a that prophet. Was the, that was the mask for the mushrikin in Makkah. Yeah, but he is the one who said that. He is the one he who said. said that. He said that was the must for the mushrikin in Makkah. No, 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 so he did not. No, 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 he did not say it's a must for the mushrikin. He was reciting chapter of the Quran. He was not reciting what 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 they believe. He was reciting Quran chapter of an Najm. So he was mm -hmm. reciting an Najm, and he inserted he inserted in an Najm that the three daughters of Allah, their intercession is a must. He is not saying. Don't say that he was saying it's a it's a must for them. That is that is not true, my friend. That is not to fabricate. Don't fabricate things. Some your prophet did not say. It's not, it's not fabricated, brother. Okay. I think you have a lot of questions about Islam. Mm -hmm. I think you 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 are um, you are questioning Islam by so much that uh, you have read everything mm -hmm. good. So mm -hmm. that's uh, well done for you. Mm -hmm. You have read it, but you have not read it with a scholar of Islam. Mm -hmm. So you need to sit with a scholar and learn from them mm -hmm. to teach you the mm -hmm. Quran and, and Hadith in detail. Okay. So you can know what Quran and Hadith really is about. Mm -hmm. So you're asking me now to go and uh, learn from the scholars. I thought you are a scholar, you are a sheikh. Yeah, that's what I'm okay. saying. Okay, so you. as long as you are a sheikh, have... why you are changing what is written there? It says that the Prophet, he said, that the three daughters of Allah, the Garanik, their intercession is a must. At the end, he bowed down, and all the pagan they want to bow down together. And not only that, the people of Quraysh they said, We never heard Muhammad creating our gods as much as good as today. So here we go. He greeted them, he said their intercession is a must, and he bowed down at the end, which means he bowed down for whatever he said. Whatever he said in that chapter, he bowed down and he started worshiping. He said that the three daughters are included in his prayer. He he pray. He's saying reciting Quran, and then he says the three daughters of Allah, their intercession is a must. And then at the end, he bow down. He bow down for what? For every word he said before he bow down. So yes, he bow down to the idols, the three daughters. And as you see, even the the Quraysh, all suddenly all of them together, they are worshiping the same God. And not only that, they said. Muhammad, he never mentioned our gods as good as today before. And this is why people, they thought that more Muslims and, uh, and the Arab, they became united because now they are worshipping the same God and it is Allah and it is the daughter of Allah. So don't tell me, go and ask the scholars. You, can, you claim to be a scholar and this is a scholar. The one is talking here is a scholar, by the way. This is Asbab al-Nuzul. This is not my book. The thing is that you need to sit face to face with a scholar and have your question, you know, in front of him. Mm. You are saying in this ayah, that in Surah Najar, ayat number 19, that <clears throat> have you ever considered the idols of Latin Ulza? Mm. And then about the other, the third, and the manat, mm. then it's is it that you that he have male and female? He Allah has females, mm. and it's so it's totally unjust division. Mm. And after that, there is nothing but the names you and your forefather have invited. Allah has sent down no authority attached to them. They are the following: nothing but conjunction and what their soul desire while guidance from their Lord, Lord, mm. surely reach them. Yeah, but but the question, my friend, the Quran saying it's now that Shaitan. Yeah, but the shaitan, the Quran, the hadith says, the Quran says that shaitan he throw in the mouth of Muhammad satanic verses, correct? Shaitan, shaitan was trying to do that, but no. Muhammad no. never listened. No, 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 not trying. No, no, you, my friend, let us be honest. The, 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 the statement in front of you where it says he was trying, he wasn't trying, he was successful. 
as you see it says here the devil he throw in his tongue he throw already and your prophet recited that he did not try it was successful your prophet he said that the the three daughters of Allah their intercession is to be hoped for so he was not a trying he did the when the messenger read carefully with me my friend okay read carefully please when he arrived reciting Allah and Uzza and Manad the third he the, the devil let us read together the devil put in on his tongue what he had secretly wished and hoped for which means the devil he wished for these are the mighty grants the granite and their intercession is to be helped for so your prophet he said what the devil he put in his tongue said that and everybody heard him that the three daughters of allah alat and manat and uzza their intercession is a must and hoped for so your prophet recite, recited satanic verses and not only that you will see in the same page you will see that the angel later angel jibreel came to muhammad and he said to him those message those verses you recited before is not from allah here we go at the evening read with me carefully at the evening jibreel peace be upon him went to the messenger of allah uh, allah bless him and give him peace and said what have you done you recited to people that which is did not bring from allah glory is to he and you said what he did not what i did not say to you so my friend don't tell me that satan was trying shaitan was able and he was successful and even jibreel he came to muhammad and he said to him what you have done go ahead my friend answer so it, 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 if you know that most of the past here of the quran hmm. that you know there is not most sometimes they're not recommended by all the scholars uh-huh you, you get you know about this right? what is what is the one you recommend for me as long as this one is not recommended i would, I would recommend um, a Quran quran by my student he started me to make it easy for which one for which, the, one? which one which one which one and by mufti muhammad uh, this is a this is a new are you ahmadiyya or something this is a new those are really scholars who are those scholars those are not scholars i never heard of them so you are saying to me they, imam they like al-wahidi al-tabari al-tabari real imams are not considered by you but a guy who was just born yesterday he made a book and this is the, the this is the one who will explain the quran to us don't you think that this is a hypocrisy it's not hypocrisy. So why, how but you don't accept the original the scholars? How come now this, this guy you are calling him Mufti? He learned his religion from who? From those scholars. So how now he can explain the Quran better than them? Better than them. How 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 he is what he is so good. So now what we will do with this? Are you saying that this guy he what, what can you read for me what this guy he said about this verse? Okay. You, okay, go ahead. What your scholar yeah, he, he said. He's saying that we did not send any messenger. Allah says, mm. "You are not our prophet." He faced a situation that, when he recited the revelation, the satanic cast doubts about what he recited. The satanic people or those people who are worshiping mm. not in order. Okay, so Allah nullifies what the satan cast. Then Allah makes his verses firm. Allah is all knowing and all wise. This is an interpretation now. He did not. He did, he, did not he, he did not give interpretation. He's just quoting the verse again. I mean, this is funny. How this can be interpretation? He just conf okay. my friend. Okay, I, I, will, I will go. I will go with this funny interpretation because he did not give interpretation. He did not give interpretation. Secondly, you just admitted that shaitan he cast in the mouth of Muhammad, and Allah will delete it. What Allah deleted from mouth of Muhammad? What Allah deleted? Not send any messenger before you know it doesn't matter it doesn't matter this case this case here is about muhammad oh, my friend no problem no problem don't, don't, my, my friend each time i talk to you you start reading from zero i look like you know we have a machine talking to us my friend i'm asking you a friendly please friendly the, the verse saying the verse saying and you quote for me and i heard you that he said that shaitan cast cast okay shaitan cast what exactly can you quote for us what he cast in the mouth of muhammad the satan cast doubts about what he recited what he recited can you tell me this is not the question my friend this is not the question you just said shaitan he cast in the mouth of muhammad the question is what he cast in the mouth of muhammad can you tell me the words about what he recited yes about what he cast what, what the shaitan cast allah will take it off correct okay but what he cast what the shaitan said to muhammad 
as you, you said in Surah Al Najm that Lat and Uzza was the was the people of of Quraysh they were worshiping Lat and Uzza at that time. This is not the question. So, this is not the question. My friend, I don't know what's wrong with Muslims. The second we ask them a question, they go in panic mood. I'm asking you, friendly, fine, what what the Shaitan, what the Satan told Muhammad when he was speaking. What Satan made Muhammad? What he threw in his tongue? What is the sentence? Can you quote the, the sentence for us? So the Satan, they put nothing in the mouth of Muhammad. They were they, in, the, in the mouth of Muhammad. They were trying to uh, put something of Latin. Also. Where you are getting this from? I mean, what what do you mean trying? The, the, it says there that he, the, even the Quran says, Satan cast. Allah will take it off. Not a trying. Who trying? It is Satan. He cast in the mouth of Muhammad. Muhammad is from the satanic people or he is a prophet. He is a prophet supposedly So the, the Quran confirmed that Allah cast in his mouth while you are changing the words I'm asking you my friend. I'm asking you. I'm asking you first of all first of all when you say to me You, you hear me you hear me when you say to me that they are trying you are you are corrupting the Quran The Quran says it clearly that Allah will take what shaitan cast in the Quran Not in the book of the pagan the pagan is not they are not following Allah anyway. They don't have a book. Come on the verse says clearly, whatever shaitan he cast, Allah will take it off. Take it off from where? From the Quran, not from the book of the of the pagan. The book of the pagan. They don't have a book. Okay, uh, so that the Quran, the Quran, the Quran. Okay. Okay. So my friend, do you, you, know, you, you, you have do you, do you have first the concept of God? Can you explain the concept of God to us? The concept of God? Which one in, yeah. in Islam? No, no, the concept of God uh, of Christians. Why do you want to change the topic? We'll go because the thing is, at first you don't know uh, what to follow and what not to follow. Really, and you are the one who knows what to follow, what not to follow. Yeah. Okay. If you know how to follow and what to follow, why your prophet he kisses stone? For me, my God, he said, you asked me about the concept of God. It says, don't make images. What is in heaven or in the sky, and not to worship anything except God. How Muhammad he kissed a black stone? Is that the concept of God to kiss a stone and to believe that it's a holy stone? Is that a prophet of God who says to him that I am going to protect you and you are masoom? And then we see that Muhammad receiving satanic verses. Is that the concept of God to say that God is one? And then you say Shahada, which is contained the name of Muhammad and the name of Allah. How that can be one, but yet two on the same line, associating the knowledge of God and the knowledge of Muhammad. You say Muslims, you say Allah and his prophet knows best. You associating the knowledge of God with the knowledge of a man. How you say that God is one, but knowledge of Muhammad is equal to Allah knowledge. How you say that God is one, but Allah, he wrote the name of Muhammad in his throne. How you say that the name of God and you say Allah is one God. But then you say to me that Allah, he says, if want to take a partner, I will take it from our kind. How Allah is going to take a partner from his kind. Can you answer me? Okay, now the mic is mine, right? Go ahead. Okay, so at first you said the black stone. Mm. The black stone, as if you know, that there was a fight at the time of Quraysh, mm -hmm. where Prophet, peace be upon him, he, he took all the leaders of the mm. Quraysh and took the stone towards the Kaaba mm. and placed it there. And people would go around the Kaaba, make the of the Kaaba, and kiss it. Okay. Right. Okay. So your prophet is following the pagan. You mean he is just kissing it the same as the pagan before him? So, as you, if you know that prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, he became prophet at the age of forty. Okay. He became he was a nabi before from mm. his birth, but he became a rasul at the time of age of forty. Mm. Okay. When he was go, when he would go around the Kaaba, he would cast the stone because the, this stone came straight from Jannah. Mm -hmm. As if you know that this stone was whiter, mm. whiter than the milk, and people because people kissing it, it became black. Mm. And because most of the Muslims nowadays they kiss it because they kiss it because of, for the love of Rasulullah. Mm. Okay, can I make a comment, please? Can I make a comment? Okay. Can I make a comment? Yes, yes, okay. So you just said to me that you Muslims you kiss, you kiss it because the Prophet kiss it, but why the Prophet kiss it? Okay, so our prophet, peace be upon him, he kissed it because it was made by Allah in Jannah. Okay, but Even you just said to me, my friend, hold on. But you just, world. but you just said to me, but you just said to me, we kiss it just because the prophet kissed it, which means you are saying we don't kiss it because Allah He made it. We kiss it just because the prophet kissed it. Everybody heard you, and that is a contradiction because if you are just kissing it because Muhammad kissed it, 
Not because of anything you know the else. Ayah of the Quran, Allah wa Rasul. Okay, no, it doesn't say actually Atiyu Allah wa Atiyu Rasul only. It says Atiyu Rasul wa Atiyu Allah, which means obey Muhammad first and then you obey Allah, correct? Okay. So how so if you know how, the if you know the ayah, Yes, so how so how you, how you say how you say Muhammad is a prophet when you when the Quran says you have to obey Muhammad first before you obey Allah? So that, that's 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 the command of God. It's a command of God comes you have to How I know that this is the command, command of God. God. If God tells how, you to first follow Jesus and hmm. then follow God. My friend, you, how I know that this is the command of God and why God he says obey a man first and then obey me. Shouldn't say obey me only because a man is a sinner and he can do bad stuff is muhammad god he don't do any mistakes how you say to you how he say to you obey muhammad and then obey allah and why muhammad first and then allah second how allah can became second before if, and, if, you, if you know that all the messengers of God, they are all Muslim. They don't have any sin. They are, they that, are sinless. That's not that's not true, my friend. Isn't it the Quran says oh. that Allah He forgave Muhammad for the past sin and the coming sin? So are you saying to me Allah He did lie in the Quran? Listen first, and um, you wanna listen to me, or you wanna keep on because you're. I'm, listen, I'm listening, my friend, but you are making a contradiction. I have to make a point before you change your mind because it says in chapter forty-eight, verse number two, may Allah forgive to you your sin in the past and your sin in the coming time. So how you say to me Muhammad is masoom, but the Quran confirm that Muhammad Allah is, is a sinner. Allah is telling through the mouth of our of Prophet, he's telling us that Allah will forgive the sins of those who accept Islam. No, past, that's not true. The, not true. Not true, my friend. Chapter forty-eight, verse number two, is speaking specifically about Muhammad. So please, if you are a sheikh, you know I ex I accept from you a decency and honesty, not lies. Are you fabricating that the, the interpretation for the verse, making it about the Muslims? This is about Muhammad himself, not about anyone else. Why you are, my friend, changing the mean? I don't want to say the word liar. I, I, you know, I promise myself to speak to your respect, but this is absolutely false. What you said to me, this verse only about Muhammad. Who are you talking about? Chapter forty-eight, verse number two. Forty-eight, verse number two. Okay. Hmm. Al-Fatih. Take it easy, my friend. Drink some water, please. So if we, if we go back to the the history of this surah, this surah has been revealed when when Mecca was Fatah. When Muhammad he came back to Mecca and he, he forgave all the people of Mecca, all the people who did all the bad things to Muhammad, peace be upon him, at that time. Yeah, but this is about your prophet. The Quran confirmed that he is a sinner. So don't tell me that this is about the believers, not about Muhammad. So now we correct the thing. Thank you very much. So the Quran confirmed that Allah is may forgive the sin of Muhammad and his in the in the in the past and the one to come. So how you say to me that the prophet protected, but yet he is a sinner. And the same time, that would be a contradiction because how he says to us, obey Muhammad, he is a sinner, obey him. Obey him, whoever obey Muhammad, obey me. But now I have to obey a sinner. That will make me obeying God. But if you are a sinner, that means I have to obey any sin you do because you are a sinner, you are not perfect. 
Are you Muslims saying that Muhammad is a perfect God, but he's a man? We're not saying that he's a God. Okay. We're saying the prophet of Allah. Okay, but you are saying to me, but you are saying to me, he's masoom. What masoom mean? Masoom does not does not make does not make mistakes. Correct. Yes. Okay, but how he, he don't make mistakes, but he do sin. Is sin is a big, big mistake. Sin is a big mistake, not a mistake. As we know that prophets, mm. on them, as you know that in you know, the Quran used to come on them, the Wahi, mm. they used they, they 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 used to go into a state. Sometimes the Wahi will came come to them. Mm. Uh, in a at the time where, where when they will they will be on a horse, sometime in the journey, sometime you know, in in any time they could, they could, they could come to them from from Allah. So sometimes what? if there was a problem, mm. so if you really look into the Quran and you have so many questions, I know that you, you any time if if I speak and speak, you will keep on asking and asking and asking questions. And, you know, we are not asking so questions. We, we are in the in the topic, need, my friend. To, we, me and you, mm. my friend, mm. we need to sit together. Mm. We need to sit together and inshallah, mm -hmm. we need to sit together and inshallah, mm -hmm. Allah will help you understand and mm -hmm. understand the wisdom of the Quran mm -hmm. and what what is the why why everything why why everything was revealed in this way and why how the ayahs of the Quran was revealed and how the Quran was compiled together. Mm -hmm. And inshallah, you will have a better understanding. So, you, so my friend, inshallah, you will not answer me. Inshallah, you have no answer. Inshallah, you are telling me I'm, I cannot answer you. Yeah, then, then answer me, my friend. Then answer me. Why you are giving me this speech about Inshallah? Inshallah, I have a question for you, and you are trying to avoid it. Inshallah, you will not answer me. Inshallah, we will sit together. You know, you know, my friend, we will not sit together ever. I mean, I don't know where you live. I don't know who you are. So, what do you mean, Inshallah, we sit together? I want an answer. How you say to me that the Prophet is masoom, protected? Do you live in New York? No, I don't live in New York. I live far away. No. Uh, but anyway, we, we, we do not need to sit together. Here we go. We are talking. Everybody can hear us nice and, and clear. So the Quran confirmed that Muhammad is a big time sinner. So how the Quran says to us, if you obey Muhammad, you obey me. But Muhammad is a sinner. How I can obey God by obeying a sinner? It's like, imagine I am going to obey a guy. You just told me he is a sinner. And the Muslims, uh, sorry to say, they lie to us. They say Muhammad is protected by God. He don't do sin. But as you see the Quran in many verses, by the way, this is one of them. Confirm that Muhammad is a big time sinner and not only that what kind of God he gave a permission and license for sin to Muhammad He said to him. I forgive your past and your coming sin What is that since when God he gave a license for sin why Muhammad he can sin as much? He has say even sin for the future. He will forgive it. What does that mean? So if you know if you believe in God, right? Do you believe in God so yourself? If, if you believe in God if, if you know if God, even today, if he says, if the day of judgment happens today, right? And God says, I want to enter all the people who are who are making shirk against me. I'll, I'll make them enter into Jannah. Would you question him? It's not about the question. I question why not. I mean, I question if something doesn't make sense. If there's a contract, isn't it the Quran said, my friend? Isn't it the Quran says why they cannot understand the Quran? If this book is not from God, you will find a lot of contradiction. So Allah, He told you. He told you that if you if you you know this is how you know that this is book is from God or not so he said yes question me in this case I know in chapter 5 verse 101 it says us not questions but here Muhammad is trying to silence anyone who asked me question but the Quran says Quran can they understand the Quran if this book is not from God they will find another not of contradiction and this is a contradiction how you say to me that Muhammad is masoom and then you find you say to me Muhammad is a sinner how you say to me that I have to obey a Muhammad and then you say to me Muhammad is a sinner Who are you say to me if you obey Muhammad you obey God? But you say to me that Muhammad is a big time sinner to the point may Allah forgive your sin is not even guaranteed in chapter 2 chapter 4 verse number 82 it says why they will not uh, uh, Then bounder the Quran if it had been from other than Allah They would have found in their in much uh, a lot of contradiction so the Quran is giving me the 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 the, uh, the, the, the way uh, uh, to discover his book from God or not. So and the same method I use it in the Quran, it proving to me Quran cannot be from God. Okay, brother, you you have really really good questions, and, and inshallah we could we will answer the, all those questions for you. All right, my friend. Uh, 
Okay. So as you as you know that why was Adam and Eve they, why why were they taken out of why why were they taken out of why Jannah? why as you know why why did the devil became the cursed one do okay. you know why did the devil became the cursed one no no my friend why Adam and Eve was taken from heaven according to Islam so according to Islam why Adam and Eve they were taken out of uh, out of Jannah mm. because the was was a, a shaitan mm. They, the was of Shaitan happened to Eve, and mm. because when he, the was of Shaitan happened to Eve, Eve told told his husband mm. Adam mm. that let's go and eat from that tree. When that tree was forbidden for them to eat, when mm. they ate from that tree, what happened? Mm. They became naked and they were sent mm. towards the face of this earth mm. where they had to live. Until now, we, we are from the lineage of Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. But this and, is my friend. This is a contradiction for what your prophet said. Your prophet said that Adam he commits sin because Allah he wrote for him his destiny to commit sin, and Adam he have no choice. Destiny, yes, that was his destiny. So okay, so how Allah? That, why Allah? If this is his destiny, how Allah is going? How you just blame the Shaitan that he is the one who did whisper in Adam? But the fact it was destiny written by Allah. So the whole scenario written by Allah. Allah he ordered Shaitan to whisper. Allah he ordered Adam to obey. Allah he ordered Adam to sin. And then Allah he punished Adam to sin. So how we can blame Shaitan for that? If Allah is the one is behind this conspiracy, and He is the one who did that to Adam. Adam is a victim. So if you know the history of Shaitan, when Adam was created, and 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 the Shaitan, when Allah told him to prostrate to Adam, mm. what did Shaitan say? Well, well, first of all, why Allah want to say to to uh, to Shaitan to protest? He did not even order him to protest. Uh, protest. Can you, not, can you, no, no, my friend. No, no, my friend. In front of everybody. With with my respect in a friendly way, I challenge you to show me where Allah He ordered Shaitan to put straight to Adam. Okay. If you show me that, I will shave my twenty foot mustache. Okay. Go ahead. Wait a minute. Hmm. Wait a minute. Hmm. You want me to help you? We can go to chapter 2, verse number 34. Okay, brother, wait a minute. Hmm. Do you feel like calling a friend or somebody? Brother, yes. We I'm doing my I'm doing I'm going to my books and I'm looking from my books, okay? All right.
<clears throat> I would like you, by the way, to read my books in case you like to educate yourself. You can get them from Amazon.com. Yeah, brother, I will read your books too. Yeah. You can you can search in Amazon for Christian Prince and you can find my. You book. have you have all your questions in your book. Oh, I have answers for the questions, not only questions. I answer my the questions in my books. Yeah, sure. Go ahead and read them. Okay. Okay, brother. So as you see, there is nowhere it says that Allah He ordered Shaitan to bow down. No, nowhere it says order. He did not order Shaitan to bow down. This is a mistake. Hmm? Surat Al-Hijr. Surat what? 15, ayah number. Surah 15, okay, verse number 31. Yeah. Okay, but he did not say, he did not say he ordered shaitan, it says he ordered the angels. This is a mistake. So this is a mistake. In the, this is a mistake in the Quran. The Quran is making a mistake, a very, very bad mistake. Because if Allah, he ordered the angels to prostrate, why he accepting shaitan to bow down? So if you know at that time, Shaitan, Shaitan was one, one of the person amongst the jinns. He was, he was amongst the jinn that he was accepting all the messengers and he was listening to them. No, my friend, when I say, I order all the cats to say meow, why I'm expecting the dog to say meow too? He is not a cat. The Quran is so clear. It says, Allah, he ordered all the angels to prostrate, but Iblis, he did not. But Iblis is not an angel. You see, for the Christian, they believe that Shaitan is a foreign angel. You Muslim don't believe in that. You believe he's a genie, correct? So Allah, He ordered the angels. Why He is expecting Shaitan to bow down? This is not even right. If I say if all, you, if I say you know all, that, my, my, you know my friend was there with the angels. So what? So what? So it doesn't matter, angels, my friend. Angel okay, let us say, let us say he was there. But if I am saying all angels bow down, why I am upset from someone he is not an angel for not bowing down? That doesn't make sense. If I say so all it, all let's, girls let's, go out, let's say today. Let's say today mm. Okay, you have you have two uh, two friends. Let's say two friends, right? Mm. And you get, both of them they're really close to you. Mm. Okay, one one is Abdul and one is Abdullah. Abdul and Abdullah, good good names. Okay, good good good, good names, right? Mm. So if you have two names, Abdul and Abdullah, mm. if you tell Abdul, you know. Both of them are really close to you. Both of them, you call them Abduls. Mm. Okay? Because they are so close to you, you just call them Abdul. Mm. Okay? Mm. You told the Abdul, come over here. If one comes, another doesn't come. How you feel? Mm. But my friend, you forgot that Shaitan is not an Abdul and angels are not an Abdul. They are two kinds of creatures. They are not both a yeah, human. Kind of the both are. No, 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 no. Listen, they you are said two. you will shave your mustache mm. if I tell you that Shaitan did not. Did not make sense no, I, I know. I said to you, if you can show me where Allah He order the shaitan to bow down, where He ordered him, He never ordered shaitan, He ordered the angels. So, read ayah number 28 from 28. And remember, when your Lord said to the angel, I'm going to create a human being from a sound giving clay made okay. of the king, but hmm. then, and when I form him perfect and blow him my. Blow in him of my spirit, mm -hmm. you fall down before him, prostrating. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the angels prostrated altogether. Yeah, but why, 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 he, why he's upset? He was there, but he didn't prostrate it because if you have all the people standing there, you tell them to go down, and there's one person who's not my friend. Down, if so I if I did not, Jesus. if I say everybody put uh, bow down, then that would make sense, but he did not say everybody bow down, he says. وإذا قال ربك للملائكة إني خالق بشر من صلصال من حمئ مسنون. so he was talking from the beginning to the angels and you are the one who called that verse for me, verse number twenty eight. so Allah he was speaking from the beginning only to the angels. so the angels are listening now. the rest is not in the business to listen. if I say I say to the angels, that's mean I'm speaking to the angels. and then he said to them how he created Adam. no problem. and then he said bow down. so all the angels fall in prostrate because he order the angels to bow down. So why he is expecting Iblis to bow down? He did not order Iblis to bow down. He, he ordered the angels. And you can see the same story because your prophet, he keep repeating himself. Chapter 2, verse number 34. 
chapter 7 verse number 11 chapter uh, 15 32 chapter 7, 17 verse number 61 chapter 18 verse number 50 uh, chapter 20 verse number 16 116 26 95 uh, 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 sorry chapter uh, so it, it uh, it's all over chapter 38 verse number 74 but all of them confirming go, one thing go to go to surah 7 surah 7 okay I am number 11. That's wonderful. Allah, he can, again, he ordered the angels to bow down. He did not order Iblis to bow down. First judo, illa Iblis. Okay, my friend, he, but he was speaking to the, to the angels. And we created you then. My friend, does, does, does it say, does, does it say, my friend, my friend, you said, you said you speak Arabic. Read it, read the verse for me in Arabic, please. لقد خلقناكم ثم صورناكم ثم قلنا للملائكة تشجدش ثم للملائكة تشجدوا لهذا فاشجدوا إلا إبليس لم لما يكون من الساجدين. Thank you very much. By the way, you have a nice voice. I'd like to hear you sometime if we have a party. My friend, here it says ثم قلنا ثم قلنا للملائكة ثم قلنا للملائكة. We said to the angels. He did not say that to all. He said to the angels only. So how you say to me, read that verse because he or order Iblis. He did not order Iblis. So we say to the angels, bow down to Adam. And they did bow down except the Iblis. He did not. But this is a mistake here. If he is Iblis, is not one of the angels, how you expect him to bow down? That is the most silly statement ever. If I say all cats get out, then I will I cannot be upset from the dog for staying home. I said cats, cats and dogs are not even the same. So the Quran confirmed that genies are made from fire, angels are made from light. They are two different creatures. And the word of your God, Allah, is so clear. He said, I ordered the angels, then told the angels. Fall and prostrate. Did you see the name of Iblis here? No. So why he is expecting Iblis to bow down? So this is a clear mistake in the story. You now, go to the next verse. What 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 does Allah ask? He did not. Okay. Yeah, 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 but but you see. Okay. Yeah. yeah but, okay. Well, here we go. So he said to him, "What what uh, what make you uh, you know like this is the the funniest what stuff about Muhammad." Yes. When I ordered you, okay. He said, "I'm better than him." Okay. Okay. And oh, I'm, oh, thank you very much for mentioning this. This is a proven Islam to be a pagan religion because the first one who ordered angels to bow down to a man, it was Allah. Allah obviously is a pagan god. He should not allow anyone to bow down to Adam, to human. Adam is a human at the end of the day. How you ask them to bow down to Adam if he is just a man? So the first one who started paganism, worshipping someone, not God, bowing down, because bowing down is an act of worship. And the same time, he said to him, why you are not bowing down? Iblis, he's smarter than the God of Islam. He said to him, why I want to bow down to him? What I did, if you read the story, my friend, and you're supposed to, I'm assuming you are a sheikh, it was the angels who accused Allah, saying to him, are you going to create someone he would do mischiefment? So shaitan, the poor shaitan, he did not even open his mouth. He did not say he would do mischiefment. He was not involved in the story. So Allah, he said to the angels, okay, I'm going to get you busted. I'm going to teach Adam uh, all the names. And then uh, he brought them and he said to them, okay, Adam, before he brought Adam in front of them and he told them I will bring the things in the front of you and I want you to recite the names They said to him Allah only you you know only we know only what you taught us and then Allah he said to Adam Hey, okay, Adam tell them the names and then Adam start reciting zucchini potato tomato etc And this is how Allah he proved that he is all knowledgeable and the angels are wrong So the whole story is about a fight between Allah and the angels So what the poor shaitan have to do with this and then Allah he proved to them that because he named the zucchini and the tomato and the potato the names supposedly that would mean his god which is very silly because if i have a dog and i call him susu and i ask you what is the name of my dog and you say to not to me i do not know that does not mean i'm god i'm the one who gave him the name what about we do with vice versa the opposite way what about the angel he asked them okay name it give it names and don't tell me the names and i will tell you the names which means i know the unseen so your god here is fabricating a story muhammad and he is coming with a funny story he the angels fighting with allah and then he expected that Iblis, and then Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam because they said that he would do mischiefment. And then Allah, he says to Adam, to Iblis, why you did not bow down? This is the most silly, funny story ever I heard in my life. Go ahead. 
Okay, brother. So you, as you know that that uh, Iblis was Iblis. His name at that time was Azazil. 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 You know okay. about this? I know. I know about it. This is your prophet. He took it from the from the Legion of the Jews. Okay. And, and the Legion of the Jews, if you go to the book, it's called the Book of Enoch, which is a false book. You will see that there's 21 angels. One of them is Azazil, Azazil and, and Muhammad is copying from the Jews. No problem. Go ahead. Okay. Mm. And by the way, where do you get this name from? Where it says that his name at that time, it was Azazil. Where do you get this name uh, from? Brother, first, first you have, I have to clarify your, your misunderstanding. Mm, why? Okay. Listen first. Listen, you're okay. saying first, if God created you, mm. Okay, God created you, and God tells, gives you an order to do the do this. Would you do it or not? If God created me and ordered me to do that, to do something, well, depend. Like if I am, if I'm a, so I'm a, if I'm a, told a you to go and pick up that stone, or pick up that tree, take out that tree, dig, dig that tree. Mm. Would you do it or not? It depend, because if I am a, if I'm a believer, I will do it. If not, I will not. Yeah, that's what that's, that's thank you so much for that so if you are a believer you would do it if mm. you're a believer in god let's say jesus jesus is upon him he came to that he told you mm. that um mr christian mm. let's let's go and kiss this stone or kiss this tree would you do it or not okay did, did so, allah did allah say to muhammad kiss a stone you you are the one who told me that the arab is, well, i'm just giving an example my sorry. friend you are the one who said to me that the arab before muhammad used to kiss the stone so you're a prophet kissing the, the same as the Arab pagan Arab they kiss the stone. He's worshiping the same God. Correct? Wait a minute, brother. So you you first something uh, my 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 example was to, to you was hmm. that if Jesus comes today and tells you to prostrate to this tree, hmm. would you prostrate or not? If Jesus he told me to a tree? He told you a tree. No, I will leave Christianity. This, this is an example. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, if he, if he said that to me, worship a tree, to bow down to a tree, I will leave Christianity. So why would you leave Christianity if you believe because in that, that Because God? he cannot be God. He cannot be God then because he is worship, asking me to bow down to idols. This is not cannot he, be from he God. Try, he's trying to check you if you're obeying him or not. No, no, my friend. God will not it, 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 it test me by giving me an order to do sin. This is false uh, argument. So you are saying to me that your God Allah, your God Allah, He wanted to prove that He is God. He ordered you to kiss a stone. That means He's a He's a Shaitan. You know, isn't it you? Is it you know? It's like okay, is, isn't it you? Now my topic to you is something. I'm I'm staying somewhere else. You are going somewhere else. I'm telling you mm. that if Jesus came today and tell you to prostrate to a tree, try to check if you are. If you are obeying him or not? No, uh, you said I will not. not I will not. not I will not obey him because that means he is the Dajjal. He is the false Messiah. He is maybe Muhammad. There's no way Jesus will order me to uh, to okay. go to. I have another question from you. Go, give me that. Question. Try, try something today, better. I mean, a man comes up, comes comes down to you. Hmm. In one hand, he has he has Jannah. In the second hand, he has fire. Hmm. And this guy, he can he can kill, and he will bring the person back to life. Hmm. This guy can make a person poor and rich, hmm. and this guy claims to be Jesus. Would you believe it? No, because the Lord He said to me, "Test the spirit." I have to examine it. So if He teach me false teaching, we don't only go only because somebody, the Messiah, He said that there is false prophet and false teachers will come after me, and even He says, "Not everyone says to me, God, God will enter the kingdom of my Father, but the one who do His will." And then they said to Him. Well, isn't it us? We did cast demon and we did miracle in your name. So people, they will come and they make miracles, but they, they can be false using the name of God. So my friend, that is not the proof that this is Jesus. The proof is his ethic, his teaching, examine the spirit. The spirit of God is holy. Your God cannot be holy. And you are the one who just a second ago, you said to me that the black stone was sent from heaven. What kind of God will teach that there's a stone sent from heaven and that, what, that make it holy? By the way, you are wrong about that. Because according to your Islamic books, the black stone became black. It's only because of sin. According to Islamic books, the black stone because became black because women, they used to touch their vagina with their blood when they have period and they place their hand inside the stone. And that is the sin, how it make it, you know, because women at that time, they believe if she is not getting pregnant, obviously Allah, Baal, 
is upset and he is not making her bread net so what you do she go around the stones around the Kaaba naked men and women they go naked and you know that that the Arab before Muhammad even in the time of Muhammad used to go naked around the Kaaba and then the women she placed her hand in her vagina and she put it in the wall and in, in, in the in the no, black stone no, 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 stop. You, you are explaining the Arab before Yes, but, uh, but 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 this is what Muhammad he called it from the Arab. You said to me that Allah he said that this is a black stone from heaven. But you know you 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 are trying to ignore what you Muslim says. This is not even the Arab what they say. The, uh, this is what the Muslims believe. Let me show you, my friend. Here we go. This is okay. Tafsir al Hawi. You can you can see the screen, right? Okay. Oh, yeah. I see okay. That screen. okay. Tafsir al Hawi. It says that this is your Imam saying. And Gabriel, he brought the, the black stone from the from the sky. And it says that uh, uh, Abu Qubais, the, there's a mount next to Mecca. I don't know if you've been there before. Next to it, a small mount, it's called Abu Qubais. The Muslim believe that Abu Qubais hold the black stone inside his belly during the, 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 the flood of Noah to save it from being drifted by the flood. Because the flood of Noah covered all the earth, including the Kaaba. And then when the flood is over, Anhu, so the black stone came over. And then it was hiding during the, the flood of Noah, and it was a, a white pearl from heaven. And when the blood of the women from period touched it during the pre Islamic of ignorance, it became a black. Am I lying, my friend? Or this is your books? Okay, brother. If you know the history before before Islam came, the people what they do to it, that's before Islam. You get it? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. This is a, this is a stone inherited from the pagan, and Muhammad adopted the same as he did with as Safa al Marwa. Isn't it as Safa al Marwa? It was a practice of the pagan before Islam, and then the Muslims they refused to practice, and then Muhammad he said to them, "Don't you know that Allah He just gave me a verse saying that as Safa al Marwa is a from the, the the ritual of Allah? How in the world the Safa al Marwa is from the ritual Allah of Allah? From, from Allah, because if you know the the mother of Ismail." When she put her baby on the floor and she was looking for water and because the baby was crying and she had no food, no milk in her chest. Hmm. So she would go to one mount and look for water and then walk to the, and walk to the other mount <laughs> and look for water okay. to see if anyone, any caravan is coming. Hmm. Okay, my friend, is that to make it holy? I mean, this is the most silly answer ever I can hear with my respect to you. So if a woman, her name is Hajar, she go between two months, that make it, we will make it from ritual of love. Yeah, Christian, Christian, listen, brother. Hmm. Your problem over here is that your belief in God is not, not strong. You, really? your, belief, your belief is mostly psychologically. Your, hmm. your questioning is mostly mostly scientific. You, you want to try to prove everything logically, scientifically. Hmm. Where with God, everything is not proven scientifically. My friend, I am, I am proving to you from your Islamic books. What you said to me about the Safa Marwa is false. Because if you go to your Islamic books, and you will see that there was two idols for two men, a man and a woman, they have sex. And because they have sex, the Arab believe that Allah He cursed them and He made them about idols. The era of Ibrahim, no, it have nothing to do with Ibrahim. Ibrahim, Ibrahim he, he never been. Ibrahim, he never been in the Kaaba. This is the fiction of, of Muslims. There is no way Abraham will go there. And by the way, if Abraham he went there, why he left? Why he did not die there? I mean, how in the world this guy he went all the way and Allah He ordered him to build the Kaaba or to rebuild the Kaaba? One kid is Haq and the second kid is Ismail. Mm. He said, okay. from that you know that he has two kids, one is Ismail and one is Haq. Okay, and Ismail is, Ishmael is from where? Ismail is from, he's from the, he's the son, one of the son of Ibrahim. Okay, who is his mother? Who is his mother? His mother is Hajar. Okay, Hajar. So she is an Egyptian, right? Yes. Okay, Abraham is from where? So... Abraham Abraham is from where we're going to I'm trying to explain you are saying that it was a picnic worship but it's not a picnic worship it okay my friend my my friend even if you know even if you know that the the the, the jamara in uh in uh mina where people go on the hash time they do the jamara Hmm. Do you know why, why people do Jamara over there? Because this is from the pagan belief that believe that there is a shaitan, he have a house there. 
a big brother. Brother is not a big in belief. It's a big in belief. Brother, listen. At the time of Prophet Ibrahim, mm. when Prophet Ibrahim saw a dream, in a dream he saw that he was slaughtering his own son. Mm. Okay, he was slaughtering his own son Ismail, and when he was taking Ismail in his with him, the Satan he came, he came to him and uh, he came to him in a form of. He came to him in the form of a big shaitan, then a medium shaitan, then a small shaitan. Hmm. But Ibrahim and Ismail both, they rejected them. Hmm. They rejected shaitan, they told them a stone. Okay, uh, may I ask you please, right. where do you get the they story from? What was was that Ibrahim, hmm. that, that the dream that you saw is not true. Don't follow the, the dream. Even the shaitan told Ismail that don't follow the dream, it's not true. Okay. So you are saying to me that the dream, the dream uh, Abraham he saw to slaughter his son is from shaitan? It's not from Shaitan. It's, it's from the, Allah. The dream, that, the dream that he saw okay. was from Allah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. You said to me that Shaitan, he came to him as a big Shaitan and a small Shaitan. In three different forms. Hmm. Different form. The, what is the form? What is the form? The first form is, is on big, bigger form. The second form is medium. The third, is, and the third one is the small. What okay. is the form? Three, what is the form? Three, what is the form? He's a shaitan. Is a, if you know, shaitan is jinn. Okay. He would come in different shapes mm -hmm. to try to put waswasa in the heart of Ismail. Okay. So shaitan he come in different form. Not from the dream. Not follow the. Okay. End of the dream. Okay. So, true. Is it true? Is it true that shaitan he come to to uh, to the pro to prophet Abraham, and he was trying to burn him by coming as a lizard. So. Brother, let me tell you, it, it, you are going back to the stories of Ibrahim yeah, you are, you are the only one who mentioned that to me because I'm, I'm, trying to you, you, I'm trying to show you, I'm trying to show you, I'm trying to show you that Islam is nothing but fictions. How in the world want me to believe that Shaitan he became a lizard and then he started blowing wind at at Abraham and the purpose is to burn him alive. How in the world do you want me to believe that your God is saying something really real and yet? Uh, uh, a little lizard salamander he is burning abraham by blowing wind at him Listen. so if you know the shaitan, shaitan from day one is the name of all human beings mm. but a shaitan is a salamander i'm not saying it's salamander well your prophet he said so but your prophet he said so your prophet he said so are you against what your prophet said you know what, what I'm saying. Listen to me first, then mm. we'll go what all prophecies be upon himself. Mm. What I'm saying is the shaitan from day one, he's our enemy. Mm. You know, you agree with that? Mm. Yes or no? I believe what say again? Do you believe that shaitan devil, he is from day one our enemy? Of human beings, yes, he is the no? enemy. No, I believe Allah is the real enemy because the Quran says that the one who Allah he deceived, no one can guide. So, shaitan is not a problem. If shaitan misguide me, I can be guided by someone. But if Allah deceived me, nobody can guide me. So, the number one enemy is the real deceiver, is Allah. Shaitan is just a victim, the same as what your prophet he said about Adam. Adam he commits sin. Why? Because Allah he wrote in his destiny that you will commit sin. So Shaitan is just an employee for Allah. He do what Allah told him to, to make people commit sin. So why you are blaming Shaitan when the fact not made him an employee? If you know, if you go back to the ayat, okay. when, when Allah asked him, "Why didn't you prostrate to Shait, uh, to uh, when Allah asked Iblis, why didn't you pro prostrate to Adam?" Hmm. What did he say? He said that you, you, may, you, you may okay here we go here we go okay you, you just approved to me my point because Allah is ordering the angels to bow down and this is shirk because how in the world do you order someone to bow down to a man and you are yet God but it's the order it's the order of the God it's not the order so Allah of so, God. so Allah is the so Allah is the first mushrik the first one he taught no problem no problem no problem the first one who, who taught a shirk according to you according to the Quran the first one who taught shirk is Allah. He ordered everybody to bow down to a man. Thank you very much. The secondly, you, you, the, the, secondly, my friend, let me answer you. Secondly, you said, Shaitan, he said to him, why I'm going to bow down for him? And he's right. I mean, why? Shaitan, he commit no sin. He did not do anything wrong. And yet Allah went on to bow. He is not even part of the conversation. It was the angels arguing with Allah. So why he get angry from Shaitan? Number three, number three, 
Shaitan is saying to him, you created him from mud, I created me from fire, and now you are saying to me that Allah will send Shaitan to fire to burn in hell? That is, that's crazy. He's, he's, he's made from fire. And number four, your prophet, he said in the hadith, that Adam and Musa, they have an argument. And Musa says to Adam, Oh, Adam, you are our father. You de deprived us and caused us to come out of paradise. Adam said to him, You are Musa's. Allah chose you for his speech and wrote the Torah for you with his hand. Do you blame me for what for doing deed which Allah had decreed that I should do 40 years before my creation? And then your prophet he says, So uh, uh, Adam he uh, refuted uh, uh, Musa's Adam he refuted Musa's three times as usual. So as you see here, Adam is saying to Musa's, Can you blame me for the sin which Allah he wrote for me? And I have to do, I should do, I have no choice. So why were playing the devil? The devil is a poor guy, and Adam is a poor guy. The real one we can blame here in this case is your God Allah. He is the one who wrote the scenario. Okay, Adam, I will make you, I will force you. I will force you to commit sin. So Adam have no choice. He forced Shaitan to commit sin. He ordered Shaitan to be the enemy of man and to commit sin. And he ordered Adam to obey Shaitan. And now we have a sinner, his name is Adam. So in debate here, you see in the front of you, and this is Sahih, is a sahih Hadith, where your prophet agree that Adam was right and Moses was wrong. So how you can say to me, who is the biggest enemy to, to mankind? I say, it is Allah. Because if I am Adam, I will be now crying for the unjust. Allah, he made me do sin and yet he punished me and he kicked me out of heaven. But it was him who forced me. Brother, so you, your question back, go, we'll go back to the, well, Shaitan didn't uh, made, made the sajda prostration, okay? Mm. Go back there. Just wait a minute. What do you want to answer about this one? You don't want to answer about Allah, he is ordering uh, about, about your prophet, explain that Shaitan and Adam are victims of Allah crime? Okay, brother. So I was trying to I was trying to tell you that we should go back. So let's say today, President Trump, being that because I live in America today, he did he made the shutdown today. Okay, he made the shutdown for more than now it's the second month that he did. Okay, hmm. can you can anyone stop him to? Oh, can anyone tell him to open the government if he doesn't want to? So you are can saying anyone, to me, your God? Can, can anyone uh, just listen first? Okay, I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to answer you. You, you said to me, can anyone? World, then we'll go back to okay. the world. So you are saying to I me that your God is evil, uh, the same as a Trump. He decided evil is brother, Trump now, brother, brother, and he listen, decided listen, to shut brother. down. So what is what is it comparing to? I mean, uh, can you? Who cares if I can or not? If he is so evil, he is so powerful. Does not change the fact that he is evil. So you are saying to me, we have an evil God who make us commit sin. And we have no Brother, choice but to obey his sin. You are keep on interrupting what I'm saying. No, I am not. You're not letting me talk. I am not, my friend. I, I am. I'm just having a conversation with you. We're having tea and coffee together. Take your coffee. You are the one who mentioned to me Trump, and you are saying to me, "Can you stop him?" So you are saying to me, "We can't stop Allah." So Allah is very evil, very powerful, but we cannot do anything about it. What we can do, but yet that that will not change the fact that this is not just and this is not fair. So first, what you gotta do is first, brother. I recommend you mm. to first learn what God is in Islam or in Christianity. Christianity. First, learn that Christianity. Uh, first of all, our if God. Jesus, our, if our, Jesus our, tell you, mm. if Jesus tell you, right? Jesus tell you, do mm. this. Would you do that? Like I told you, prostrate I, to the I tree. I told you, I, to I, you're obedient or not. I told you many times. If he told me, to, no. if he ordered me to no. do wrong, I will do. I will not do wrong. If he told me to do wrong, that's mean. That's mean. Brother, my friend, that's my friend. No, no, Someone... no, no, no. This is not a punishment. This is not a punishment. Why he's why he's punishing Adam? Adam, he is forced to commit sin, as you see. This is not a punishment. Why in the world you force me to do sin and then you punish me for committing sin and then you kick me out of heaven for saying to me you all commit sin? That is the most crazy argument. The one who should be kicked out of heaven but is are Allah. You, are you an atheist? My friend, I am a Christian. I am a believer more than you. You believe in a black stone. I believe in the true God. I don't believe in kissing stones. I condemn. You have a wrong conception of Islam. My friend, really you are the one who have no answer, as you see. How in the world, Allah, He judge Adam for committing sin when Adam is his sin is written forty years before his creation? How we can say to Adam, you are a sinner, if Allah is the one who decides his sin and He made him commit sin? Where is justice? 
Where is God? So can, God is about can, justice. Can you, can you change it? No. Oh, so you are saying to me, Allah is evil. We cannot change him. Thank you very much. I'm not saying Allah is evil. You just That's say what that. He's about. He can do anything to you. He okay, can make you okay. a, can make so, you a but, can make but, you a donkey. He can make you turn into anything. No problem. But, but that proves that Allah is evil. Doesn't matter. You are saying to me, we cannot change it. He's evil. He's a God. He, he, whatever he wants, he can do. So if he wants to make you he believe, he'll make you believe. He doesn't want to make you believe. He will not, will not make you believe. My friend. You get it, brother? My friend, can I have your, uh, you, you, you are a sheikh in which mosque? And uh, maybe I, if I stop in in, uh, in New York one day, I can uh, pay you a visit if you don't mind. Okay, brother. So come to uh, Astoria. Astoria. Can you give me the uh, the, 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 the okay, full name I'll, and I'll the address? address on my, on, right. on my uh, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are a nice person, I have to admit, you know. And I apologize if I am really too much tough on you, but I have to say the truth, and the truth have to be as it is. But as you see, my friend, your your explanation to God that because He is so powerful, so He can make us commit sin, and then He will punish us for doing sin, which He made us do. That is not God. God is about justice, isn't it? You Muslims, you call your God Al Adil. Al Adil means the just. How He can be called such a name after this? To call somebody Adil. You have to be just. Brother. Listen to me, brother. Mm. If you really look into it, that if, what is God first, right? God, God is someone who created you, right? Yes. Who created who created us from dust. If God created him from dust, and He now ordered you to do to do this and do that, would you would you follow it or not? You said no. You I, you would I, not follow it. I told it. you. I, I told you. You right? see. You see, yeah, God, he gave up. That. But for me, brother, for mm. me on my side, whatever mm. God tells me, whatever He He says, I will follow it. But uh, you know what? What God never told us to kill innocent people. Never, brother. It is a wrong concept about Islam. You know about this. That God never told us to kill innocent people. God never told us to go and kill. Are you sure? But any anyone? No, never. God never told Muslims to kill innocent people. Really? God never told anyone. Because okay. uh, okay. my 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 student, he told me that you come on come on the show live and you tell people that Islam is an evil religion. Islam teaches evilness, but Islam never does that. But okay, my friend. Let me ask you: When your ISIS, when your prophet he attacked, when your prophet he attacked Bani Mustaliq, did they commit anything against him? Bani Mustaliq they never fought him. He attacked them. He killed the men. He took the women and he raped them. So what do you mean he did not command? Isn't it your prophet? He said in chapter nine, verse twenty-nine: "Go and kill the Christians and the Jews unless they pay you the jizya." Your God, He is teaching gang mentality. If we pay you jizya, we pay you money. We can live. And we can even stay kuffar as long we pay. If we don't pay, we die. So how you say to me, Allah never ordered to kill innocent? Isn't it your prophet? He said, I've been ordered to kill all mankind, not to fight only. In Arabic, it says, uqatil. You speak Arabic. So I've been ordered to kill all mankind until they say there's no God but Allah. So how you say to me that Islam never ordered to, to kill anyone is not uh, unless he is guilty. In Islam, if you are not a Muslim, you are guilty. The second you say you refuse Allah, you are guilty by being a kafir, and that is enough to kill you. And your prophet confirmed that, and this is Sahih Hadith, and this can be sponsored in the Quran. So my friend, my name is a Christian prince, and nobody can play games with me. And you can tell, I if you know 10% about Islam, humbly I say, I know a thousand times more than you about Islam. Don't make but things. I know nothing. I'm, I'm zero. You are, you are no you problem. Are, you are but a... people can be judged. Yes. But you are saying things to me. You cannot prove it. How in the world you say to me that Islam order us not to kill innocent people? It is Islam saying kill innocent people just because they are not Muslim. They are not innocent. So I believe this is a form of deception. Trying to say to us what we hear in the TV stations that Islam is peace. When your prophet says, "I've been ordered to kill all mankind," until you got to, you got to look at the context of Quran. Okay, Quran give me the context, my friend. Here we go. We have to look. We have to look like summarize everything. Look, okay? no problem. Look, everything. look, no problem. Is it your prophet who said that we commanded to find all so, people? Is as, as God God sent prophets or prophets prophets or prophets to the Jews, then He sends to the Jews. Jesus and they believe in Jesus as, as, as a God then they believe they believe in in uh, Uzair as a God they they worship cow they who is Uzair by the way God. who is Uzair so think about it if uh, God is keep that is sending messages keep sending messengers they're killing messengers they're killing all those people they're killing those people who are believing hmm. okay okay did you say my friend did you say the Jews they're killing uh, people can you name for me one messenger the Jews they killed 
the Jews they killed, they killed Yahya. Can you show me the reference, please? Yeah, they have more other prophets. We don't have. We, we listen, brother. We we follow. We believe in Torah. We believe. No, you in don't the believe Bible. in the Torah. No, okay, you don't believe in the Torah. Do you believe the Torah today is a true Torah? The, the Torah today, listen, brother. The Torah, the time of our Prophet Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, is different than the Torah that we. Ha that, okay, that so we how you today. so Just, where you get the story that they killed the the the, the Jews? They killed the Prophet. His name is Yahya. Where you get this story from? Is that from the Quran? It is not. Where do you get the story that the Jews they killed the Prophet? I told you who is the Prophet. You said Yahya, right? You are listen first to my 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 what I'm saying. Okay, but I want I want I want reference. You say to me from the Torah. You don't believe in the Torah. I'll give you references, brother. Just wait. Okay. Mm. I'll give you references. Okay. From the, from Tafsir. You will give me Tafsir. Uh, tafsir is coming from the Torah too. Okay, brother. If uh, as I told you that God was keeps sending messengers to the, to the humanity to guide them, but they what they would do is they will kill. They will kill all those messengers. Okay, I have, I have a smaller question for you before you go. Maybe you are tired. Let me ask you. You just said that the Jews they killed many prophets. Is that correct? Of course, brother. Okay. Why they could not kill Jesus? Why Allah decide to save Jesus only, but not the rest? As long as they are prophet, and the Quran says we don't differentiate between prophets. So how come the Jews even they killed Muhammad? They killed him by poison. So Muhammad died by poison, and the Quran confirmed that some you called imposter liars and some you slay. But yet we see that Allah decided only to save Jesus. <laughs> Do you have an explanation for this? Why and only Jesus will be saved when your prophet he was killed by poison? Okay, brother, listen first. Hmm. My mic? Yes, go ahead. Okay, brother. Okay, brother. If you really look look into this, right? If you look that at the time when they were, they were about to kill Jesus, right? Mm. And according to the beliefs of Christian, if someone dies on the cross, what what is he? If he He's die, no. If if he die in the cross and he is a guilty, is a criminal, he will be cursed. If you are a criminal, because everyone who die in the that cross, dies on the cross will be cursed, right? If he is a criminal, if he is a criminal, because if you are you die in the cross, my friend, that, they, were, they were putting. My friend, my friend, uh, that, my, my, friend my friend, my friend, my friend. Because they were trying, they were trying to humiliate. Him. No, He's no, no. This is not the He's reason. The cross is a punishment of the Roman, and the Bible says, "Whoever killed in the cross, because usually only criminals who commit big crimes, they are putting them in the cross. So whoever die in the in the wood crucified, he is cursed before he's a criminal. But Jesus commit no crime, as you know." So now we ask you, why Allah decide to save Jesus, but He don't decide to save Muhammad? As you see in Sahih al Bukhari, your prophet he said that he died by poison which he ate in Khaybar, and he said that the the the, the poison I ate is getting is cutting my aorta, and then right away after that he died, and he keep repeating that many times. So proven to us from your Islamic source, Muhammad died by poison. Jesus, according to to, to Muslims, he was saved by Allah. The question is very simple why Allah saved Jesus but he don't want to save Muhammad so if you know brother that Jesus at that time when they were trying to crucify him God mm. took him up to the to the heavens okay so, what so say again what I did not get you what so God took him to the heavens when they were trying to crucify Jesus okay why Muhammad why Allah did not okay. take now, Muhammad to heaven from, if you if you really know Bible even if you go to your priests mm. right you they will tell you that there was there was a prophet that God would tell each prophet that there's a prophet coming my last prophet even if he comes in your time you have to believe in him mm. and you have to follow his teachings mm. and what does have to do with my question agree? why Allah did not save Muhammad agree that okay, okay, Allah okay, told every prophet that I will send a prophet that will be my last prophet if he comes in your time you have to follow him what last whatever prophet? he who is the last prophet? As I'm saying to you, that that uh, even in Bible is even in in uh, Torah. Hmm. Okay, hmm. the God told that there's a there will be a messenger, the servant of Allah hmm. will come to you. The Bible says that the seals of the prophethood. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. I, I I just learned this from you. I never even saw the word Allah in the Bible. What are you talking about? And how Muhammad can be the messenger of of God yet? The Quran says, "Look like my friend, you do not know uh, your your religion." Isn't it? The Quran says, "We never send a messenger unless he speaks the language of the people." So, in order for Muhammad to to be a, a messenger to the Jews, 
he have to speak the language of the Jews and he have to be one of them and this will be a contradiction for the Quran look like you Muslims you don't respect the Quran and you make fun of Allah words in chapter 14 verse number 4 says we send not a messenger except to teach in the language of his own people so in order for Muhammad to be a messenger for the Jews and for the Christians from different ethnic group he have to be from the people speaking the tongue of the people so how you explain that to me so you are contradicting yourself contradicting your religion and you are showing no respect to the book of Allah oh brother I'm I show all my respect respect to the book of Allah brother. so why you are saying that to me how Muhammad can be a messenger if the Quran saying we never sent we never sent no exception he never sent that means that at the time of Musa no my friend this is not in the time of Musa this verse came in the time of Muhammad Okay, they come in the time of Muhammad, but mm. God is talking about that we sent messengers to the mm. people in their own language. Oh, correct. So Muhammad, he was sent, okay. in, but we so never Muhammad sent. Muhammad was sent to the Arabian Arabian people. Okay. Over there, there were Jewish people mm. and there were Christian people over there too. Mm. But no, but, but, but they are not from the people. They are not Arab. The Jewish, they are, they are refugee. So uh, we never send. So what, what the Quran confirming here, and even the Quran says, we send you to, the, we send the Quran in Arabic. So you can warn the people of uh, uh, of the uh, of the town of uh, Mecca and what is around it, correct? So the Quran confirmed that this is only for the people in Mecca and around it only, and those who speak the language. So how Muhammad can be a messenger mentioned in the Bible? That is the first story which is fabricated by the Muslims because they are, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, looking for, uh, 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 you know, uh, any proof that Muhammad is a prophet. But as you see. Muhammad cannot be a prophet of God for a very simple reason. You should not kiss the stones. You should not go around the stones. You should not believe in the holy stones. And you should not be a pagan. And Muhammad, everything he teach, he taught you about the Safa al-Marwa. The Safa al-Marwa is nothing but to a, a man and a woman. They have sex together, as you see in the screen. And the, uh, uh, the pagan, they believe that uh, uh, Allah, he struck them and he made them two idols. And this is the book of Asbab al-Nazul. The same book we read it from before your, your, your scholar so your scholar is teaching that there is two idols they were there and they were worshipped by the by the Arab pagan and this is why the, the Muslim after they join Islam they thought Muhammad will change this this is why he says uh, we refuse to pre perform a Safa al Marwa and then Muhammad because Al Ansar they like to do a Safa al Marwa so Muhammad to make them happy he says that the Safa al Marwa they are from the shrine of Allah, read with me carefully. Ibn Malik said, We dislike going between a Safa and Al Marwa uh, uh, because they were the shrine of Quraysh, they are pagan of the pre Islamic period, and we abandoned them in Islam. Now, do the do the pagan of Quraysh believe in Abraham and uh, the story you told me? No, this is fiction. That's what I'm telling they, you, brother. Okay, the, the people of every time if you even if you look go to go to the, the time of musa salam, mm. at that time if you look the people that are first following musa salam, when musa salam was there what musa alayhi salam, say, right. those are pagan arab they have nothing to do with musa right. come listen, on my friend brother, i'm telling you, you i'm telling you something you have to listen now okay <laughs> they, they were following the teaching of musa but when musa salam left what did what did the jews do they started, they made their own idol a cow and they started worshiping the cow mm. Okay. Mm. Okay, brother. So when the mm. prophet left, what they do? They they worship the cow. Mm. So if you go back to that time now, e Prophet Isa, when he came, mm. he he spoke even as a baby that I am I am Abdullah. Mm. I am the servant of Allah. I am the servant of God. Mm. He said that, right? He said so that. When this he, is in at that book, time, I mean. the people, because the Jews, they were they were accusing Maryam mm. that she committed adultery, but she never committed adultery with anyone. Mm. But how the Jews will will accuse Mary committed adultery if Mary, they were accusing she, Mary at that time because how, Mary was 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 the daughter of Imran. She was my friend. How did you say that Mary is the daughter of Imran? No, oh, we are lost in him. Hello. Hello. Yeah, it looked like we lost him. Anyway, it, that's that will be endless. 
Guys, had, did you have fun? Did you have a good time? A shake when to debate me? I don't even dare to debate myself. What a big mistake. Anyway, he's welcome to call us anytime. Uh, feel free to download this video, share it everywhere. You can cut it from the time he starts calling me because that will teach everybody how Islam is really nothing but a fiction. It's a collection of stupidity. And those who claim to be sheikhs, they have no answer. Hello? Sorry, brother. It's, My, all right. it's, it's all right. No, 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 when no. Uh, charge went off. No, so, no. brother, okay. No. So, Maryam, she was from the lineage of Yaqub. Okay, let me, let me ask you, let me ask you. When you, when you. when you say that Maryam is the daughter of Omran, Omran, where is where is this coming from? Is it really is really Mary the daughter of Omran? It's the poor father, the lineage of Maryam uh -huh. comes from the lineage of Yaqub. This is not a question. The Quran says that Mary is the daughter of Omran. Is that correct? Yes, of course, brother. Okay, what is the name of the father of Moses? Imran. Okay, so now we have Moses and Mary, they have the same father and they are brothers and sisters. But even today, brother, hmm. can't you have two in one family? No, you have, let's say your no, name the, is Christian. No, no, your my, name is Christian. First of all, Moses, Moses is not from the same tribe of Mary. This is number one. Secondly, secondly, I'm saying lineage, I'm not saying tribe, brother. I'm no, saying lineage. Still, still lineage will not be the same because at the end of the day, they aren't from the same tribe. Say, secondly, the father of Mary, her, his name is not Omran. So, why Muhammad he called the wrong name simply because he thought that Maryam, the sister of Moses and the sister of Aaron, is the same Maryam, is the sister of. Uh, 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 of 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 Moses, uh, the, the mother of Jesus. So Muhammad he says, "Ya Ukhta Harun, or sister of Aaron," because he thought that those are family, and all of them they have one father. His name is Amran. So your prophet cannot be a prophet. How he cannot quote a name correctly? He, his history is wrong, and he quote in name wrong, and he claimed that uh, uh, Aaron is the is oh. the same have the same father as Mary, which is Amran. In the same time, he said to her, "Oh, sister of Aaron." So this is additional proof that your prophet can be a prophet. It's a fiction. It's a lie. Same time, go and read the Bible. Why the Christians even need to change the name of the father of Mary? Why even the, the Jews need to change the name of the father of of uh, of Moses or or Aaron? In bo both name, your prophet he called, he called them correct wrongly. You have so many questions, brother. I know you have so many. Man, that's good to have questions always. All right. Allah, Allah, Allah loves those people who have questions. No, okay? my friend, this is not true. This is not. Questions. This is not a true. No, the Quran. The Quran. The Quran. No, Allah don't love those who who, who have a question. This is not true. In chapter five, verse number one one oh one, Allah says, "Ask not questions." So why you say to me, Allah, he's, He loved those who love, uh, who ask questions. Ask for no questions. At time today, we have com complete Quran. Today mm. is for the people at the time of uh, Muhammad, peace be upon him. Mm. They didn't have the complete Quran. They didn't have the understanding that, that today we have. Uh -huh. What does that? You mean? get it, brother? What does that mean? Okay, brother. Today we have a complete Quran. We don't have a complete Quran. Of... Where do you get this from? Where do you get this from? Isn't it Aisha? She said that the chapter of Al Ahzab used to be equal to the chapter of Al Baqarah. Isn't it Omar? He said that the Quran uses a, a, a thousand, thousand, and twenty-seven thousand letter, which means we don't have even twenty-five percent of the Quran. Isn't it Aisha in the Hadith? She said we were busy with the Prophet. A goat came and ate the Quran. I mean, you Muslims, you are copy paste. You say things to us. You yourself don't believe in it. How we have the complete Quran when all your Islamic reference says the Quran is gone? Brother, if you know, if you look at the hadith of Aisha, mm. it says the God came and ate mm. the two, two verses, and that verses she kept, she kept for her memory. That was about Stony Ramal. Okay, tell me, tell me from your memory, please. The and breast. That was about okay, tell me the bre the breastfeeding for adult uh, from your memory. As long as you said we keep it in the memory. I want to I want you to recite for me the breast uh, feeding for adult ten time verse. Do you remember it? Ten time was listen, brother. First, hmm. this this there's nothing missing from the Quran, and Quran is completely complete. There's yeah. nothing wrong. My with friend, Quran. do you memorize it? Do you but, memorize the breast feeding for adult? We have to go back. We have to go back to Maryam. Okay. No, no, now no, 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 no. You see, before before you go, I don't like to jump. You said to me we memorize it. Nothing missing. Here, there's either me trying to play games with you or you're trying to play games with me. How you say to me, we memorize it, but you cannot recite it for me. Here we go. I'm asking you, can you please, friendly, 
I want to learn from you. I want you to be my teacher from today. Can you recite for me the breastfeeding for adult 10 time, which the goat ate it? You said, yes, we memorize it. Okay, I want to hear it. Go ahead. The words of stone and breastfeeding an adult 10 times was revealed. Okay. And the paper was Can under me, my pillow, when messenger of Allah died. Mm. Spell on him. We were preoccupied with his death and the tame sh time shape came and ate it. Mm. If you look, go, go a little bit uh, down. Okay. This is just a comment about the hadith. This is not, uh, you know. So anyway, so can you recite for me the breastfeed for adult verse, please? You said memorize it. Is nothing is missing? Brother, there's no, there's no verses about that. That, that was, that was something that she kept about for her, for her memory. Okay. Really? What are you talking yeah. about? It says here, the breast, the verses, the verses of stoning and the breastfeeding was revealed. What do you mean there was no such a thing? It says was revealed. Do you see the verse of stoning and breastfeeding was revealed? So what do you mean? There's no such a thing. Okay, brother. You have so many questions, and we need if you if you know the Quran is not not a book that we just take it and we just read it and we just throw it there. You know, this is another we question, my friend. This is another question. This is another question. Can you recite for me? Can you recite for me the breastfeeding for adult verses? Sorry, brother. Can you recite the verses for breastfeeding for adult ten time? Adult ten time. Hmm. Can you recite the there's verse? No, there's no words for that. Okay, brother. Well, here it says here it says that the verses was revealed. So are you accusing Aisha to be a liar, my friend? I'm not accusing Aisha. Hmm. Is that okay. she's a liar? So what? Why you are saying there's no such a thing? Aisha, she said it's a verse and it was revealed, but yet you say. There's no such a thing. So one of you is lying, either her or, or, or you. Okay, brother. Brother, uh, I'll call. I'll call you. What time you come come live? Almost uh, every, every day. day. Almost every day, my friend. Every day from what time to what time? Uh, you know, sometimes uh, three thirty New York time. Sometime before. You know, you can subscribe to my channel and you will be able to follow me. Okay, brother. I'll I'll tell my student to listen uh, right. to tell you. You come, and I welcome you always. And I apologize again if I was harsh in some words with you. I don't mean to be yeah. so, to be harsh, but uh, I, 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 you have questions. I know you have questions about Islam. Oh. How it was revealed? Why was uh, Prophet Muhammad a prophet? Why was Quran revealed? Why was each verse hmm. revealed? Why why we have all everything from the from the Bible and the Torah, you have you are saying this when why we what you have so many why why you say so inshallah we'll ask we'll answer all your all your why why's yes. inshallah. But nobody can answer them as you see until now you did not answer anything. Yes. And the last and the last one you are oh, trying not to answer. To why you don't I told, I told you why, that my, my friend before you go I, I understand you are going you, you are going straight to three. You said no because so you don't know the concept of God first. My friend, my friend. Before you go, just one, the last question I asked you, why you don't answer it? Why you are saying that Aisha, she said there is a breastfeeding revealed and you are saying there's no such a thing? Why you don't, why? Either you apologize from Aisha, not from me, because you are accusing Aisha that when she said the breastfeeding for adult 10 times was revealed. Do you know what revealed mean? It was inspiration. Uh, either you apologize from Aisha or you say I don't agree with Aisha. Okay, brother. Let me see the hadith again. Um, I'll I'll try to look into into this hadith. Mm. Okay, brother. Okay. And we'll try to talk again, again and again. So you will not answer me now. You will not answer me. It. Okay, I got it. Okay, no problem. All right, my friend. Thank you very much for calling. I, I will answer you. It's not that I, I can't answer you because uh -huh. whenever I, whenever I speak, you say why. When I answer, when I try to answer, you say why. Then I answer, they say why. Mm -hmm. It's. Like you are keep interrupting. Like you I'm have not so interrupting. Here we go. I will keep my, my mouth shut for the came in 30 minutes if you want. Do you like to answer or not? I will answer you, brother. But one day. But right now, but it's, now. it's time for Isha Salah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay, brother. Okay, And I have to go, go right. to the masjid and pray Isha. All right. Take care, my friend. And thank you for calling. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hmm. Uh, you have to go to pray. Hmm.
did he say he have to pray for Aisha? And he live in New York. But Aisha in New York at six thirty two p.m. What? Oh boy. <laughs> okay. No problem. Things happen. Things happen. Christians. Christians, Christians. Be proud, my friends, my brothers, my sisters. You have the best of the best. His name is the Messiah. And by him we are victorious. Not by Christian Prince. We bring victory by his name. His name is holy, his name is glorious, and he is all powerful. He is the almighty God. And that's why they run away from us. You cannot lose, and you are with the Messiah. But remember, you have to occupy yourself, arm yourself with knowledge. The Bible says, my, ignor my people are destroyed because of their ignorance. No, we don't want to take no more calls. That's it. We are done for today. My people have been destroyed because of their ignorance. And this is what we are doing here. We are fighting ignorance. So I hope every Christian who was today here will learn. Please download this video. Share it everywhere you can. You can cut the debate by itself. And this guy, his name is Sheikh Abdul Wadud from New York. I don't know where, what is the full name. He did not give it to me. But that's what he said. And he is supposed to be a sheikh of an imam. And his student is the one who brought him to us. And he just heard him saying that he will ask his students to join and to listen. And let us pray that the sheikh, he will see the truth and the truth will set him free and he will accept the Messiah. And he and his student in his mosque, they will accept the truth and they will leave the cult of Islam. I'm very thankful for all of you and those who made the donation. We are. We, uh, I apologize if I don't say uh, thank you, but I'm sure you do not need me to say thank you. You are not doing it to be here to hear that word. Thank you. I I, I appreciate all those who attend here, those who download the videos, those who share it, those who give it a like, and those who uh, uh, support what we do. And at the end of the day, there's no winner here except the truth i am not seeking muslims to lose i'm seeking the truth to win it doesn't matter the truth is with who and because the messiah he said i am the truth we are proving it every day he proved it to us quran proved it to us that the messiah is the truth and muhammad is false the enemies who attack the Messiah day and night, they prove it to us. They attack and they lose. So glory to his name. We are victorious by him. So again, thank you for being here. I'm not going to stay longer. Um, really, uh, you know, it's not easy to speak for how many hours? And as you know, like it is continues. I'm sure if somebody of you is taking my place here, his his brain will be frying right now, right? But no, my, actually for me, I'm, uh, uh, but, uh, you know, that's it. We made a point for today. We better take a break and rest and uh, give a break to the devil. Let him take a nap. You know, poor, poor devil. He was afraid. So give him a break. So thank you for being here. And until I see you again, maybe tomorrow, don't forget to subscribe. Christ is Lord and Islam is false. And see you soon again. Take care. Bye-bye.